Hi, welcome to our video series on CSAM. Today's video is about the basics. What is CSAM? To put it simply, CSAM is a name given to a suite of software that is used for offshore design. Under the CSAM suite, DMVGL has incorporated over 30 plus different modules, all focused on offshore design. The advantage of CSAM is that it is a modular based suite of programs where the output of one program is input to another. This provides a great advantage as you can go from modeling to complex loading and structural analysis to nonlinear accidental loads, all with a single model within a single suite of softwares. There is no converting models, no Python scripts, no Excel sheets, simply one model that can be used for multiple analyses. So to start with, when I say 30 plus modules, we have what we have here is called CSAM Genie. This is sort of the gateway to CSAM. And what we have here is a jacket model. Within this jacket analysis, we can do, for example, wave loads. We can do deterministic wave loads on a jacket structure. We can also do topside design and pile soil. And all of this is one model where we can run loading, where we can model it, load it, run the analysis, and do code checking, all within one one window, one program. No need to go to 13 different programs or anything else. Everything is encapsulated within Genie. And I say 30 plus modules because I want to show you our CSAM Manager. CSAM Manager, if you look here on the left, these are all of our standard programs that we have under CSAM. And so you're asking yourself, what can I do with this? It's really, what can't you do? Because we can use CSAM for almost anything that goes in the water. We can use it as I hinted at for jacket design. We can also use it for floater design. We can also, also use it for subsea um, installation analyses and I'll show you a few of these things right now. So within CSAM Manager we have some basics where we can just assemble the model, apply some wave loads, do pile soil, and then we can run the analysis and look at results. And all this is is within our CSAM Manager tool. Think of this as an interactive flowchart. So you can do different different analyses and multiple analyses all within CSAM. Uh, most of, if you're doing fixed structure or top side, everything is going to be encapsulated within Genie. So you have one tool, one interface that is going to house most of your analysis needs. But what about shell design? This is beam design and we do have some shells up here, but what if you want to do a floater? Well, the great thing about Genie and the great thing about CSAM is that we can do a floater. Here is an example model I, I have for a uh, floating offshore wind substructure. It's something very basic, very simple, four column type semi. And we have a turbine with a mass. So I use Genie to create the model that I'm going to be, that I'm going to use for my hydrodynamics. So from the hydrodynamics, I have the option of doing a linear frequency hydrodynamic, hydrodynamic analysis, a time domain hydrodynamic analysis, plus automatic load transfer, and then subsequent mooring analysis, installation analysis, all those things. So to quickly walk through the process, we have modeled in Genie. From here, we go to our tool called HydraD, which is here. And what I've done is I have loaded up the model in here. And this is where I'm going to be doing a linear hydrod hydrodynamic frequency domain result along with a nonlinear time domain hydrodynamic analysis. Plus, from here directly, I can do load transfer. So here are my results for the, lin the linear frequency domain results in a load transfer. So here we have a hydrostatic load case. As you can see, or maybe guess, I have some compartments, so it looks a little bit funny. But these are my actual pressure loads. And so here they are for static. And for a single dynamic case, these are the dynamics. And as you can see up here, there's actually, we can look at the real part, we can look at the imaginary part, or the magnitude, and plus the other options. But once you run this, you can also start looking at, so from here, we can look at our displacement. So we, now we actually have global so we ran the analysis, we did the load transfer, ran a linear structural analysis, and now we actually have global results. So for the static load case, you can see that I have global deformations. I also have stresses. 
So for example, von Mises stress. So all of this is done within one single suite of programs and everything works together. So I've been able to go from modeling here to hydrodynamics here to a global load analysis all within one suite of programs. There are no scripts, there are no uh, Excel sheets or scripts or anything like that that have been run. Everything, I put a program, one is input to another. And as I said, jacket analysis and topside analysis is almost all going to be done within Genie. Right here, so for a jacket. But I also mentioned some other things. So, for example, wind turbines. We have tools this is our tool called SEMA, and this is used for marine operations, installation analysis, mooring, riser, things like that. But we can also use it for floating, and we have another tool for fixed turbine design as well. So what you can do here is from the hydrodynamic analysis, you can get some coefficients. You can put your turbine and everything within this tool SEMA, run a full environment, and as you can see, we are, as a function of time, actually computing. You can see here, we have wind, wave, and current all acting simultaneously. And we have the effects of the current on the tower, the effects of the current on the motions of the, of the uh, entire structure. So everything is a fully coupled time domain system. And this is all within SEMA. Within SEMA is a tool, and all the SEMA feeds up to CSAM. So all these tools are under CSAM. So within CSAM, we can design a jacket. We can design a topside. We can design a floating structure. We can design a wind turbine, both fixed and floating. We can design almost anything you can think of. If it is used in offshore, we have a tool to design it. So with that, that is just kind of a highlight of what is CSAM. So if you have any questions on this, please feel free to contact us at software.support at dmvgl.com. Thank you very much for listening.